It's time to upgrade the RAM on my Dell Inspire 15, 5515 Touch Laptop. As you can see, I do a lot of video editing, so I'm going to need to maximize our RAM. And before I do that, I confirm the model. And according to the Dell matrix, I can upgrade up to 32 gigabyte right there. There are two slots, okay? And if I go to systems, I can confirm that I only have 16 gigabyte right now. So I can upgrade to 32 gigabyte max. So I just got these in the mail the other day and I'm excited to finally install it. These are the team group 32 gigabyte, two by 16 gigabyte, 32 megahertz DDR4 laptop RAM. Now you probably, if you haven't heard of team group, well, you can, I can confirm that it is a quality brand because I've installed these on my desktop Dell in 2021 and no issue. So I've had these for three years. And I recently upgraded on my desktop too, okay? So RAM is very important to increase the productivity and today we are gonna test that too. So it comes in this nice little container. So let me go ahead and Unbox it and show you guys the difference. It's different shape for the laptop versus your regular standard desktop RAM. So you have, so they aren't compatible with each other, right? Ooh, man. <laughs> I thought I broke it. All right, here we go. The packaging right here. So as you can see, comparing the size, there are different uh, dim and size that you see right there. Okay, so it, it looks like two of these probably make up one of these. So let's go ahead and install these in there. So in order to prove that it does increase the productivity with increase in RAM. Today I'll be editing this 4K video. It's a nine minute, 43 seconds, 4K video. So right now, currently we have 16 gigabyte of RAM and then I'm gonna do the same task using a timer to record it to see how long it takes. So let's go ahead and export this video. 4K. Oh, let's call this 32 gigabyte. So here we go. Time it. It's encoding right now. The timer. Once it's done, then I'm going to click stop on the stopwatch. And I mean completely until it's finished and it, the video is playable on my desktop. Even includes post-processing. It's almost done, but hold on. We still got post processing. Wow, this it's gonna take over nine minutes. It just got done. So stop. I would say 920. I'll just say 925. And there's the video right here. It's playable. See? Alright. I can finally shut down the computer to remove the cover and install the new RAM. Located on the bottom of my Dell. Inspiring 15, 55, 15 touch laptop are nine little tiny screws. And whenever I deal with tiny screws, I like to use my Jacami 164 pieces precision screwdriver set because you have all these varying sizes for tiny little projects. This comes in super handy, especially with computing. So let's go ahead and remove these screws carefully and make sure you don't lose them. So it appears these little two end screws do not come off. And I'm gonna use this little pry tool to go along and just pry it open until the cover becomes uh, removable. So as you walk around it, it's gonna, you can hear a snap sound because uh, it has these tabs which retains its, uh, see here that, you see that coming, 
apart. See? And then we're going to work ourselves to the back here. It takes patience and some time, but be careful. Okay, once I have it, oh, look, there it is. First time opening up my laptop. There it is. Now would be a good time to familiarize yourself with the laptop and all the components. I believe that's a battery right there. It looks like the fan needs a little bit cleaning. So I'm going to wipe that down with some towel. And located right here, depending on which orientation you have it. But anyway, you see these two flaps, protective sleeves. This is covering, protecting the RAM right here. So it's 16 gigabyte of RAM. And these, these little tabs are a little bit different than the desktop uh, tabs to uh, take out and to install the directions are right here it looks like i have it upside down so after reversing the orientation do you see it that's how you would remove the tab okay like i said clean the fan i'm just using a little q-tip i actually have a better idea just use a toothbrush a new soft bristle toothbrush. You see how that easily gets rid of dust? Yeah, that's the way to do it. And give it a good blow. So according to instructions, fold up on the tab and pull out on these two metallic clips right here. And then you see how that, you see how that's loose now? And then, oh, you see that? You can move it at a 45 degrees angle. So remember how it goes in, okay? Similarly with the other side, pull the two tabs, it lifts up, and it goes in like this. It looks like they are uh, different orientations, so I'm going to keep that in mind, all right? All right, I'm ready to install the RAM, same orientation, so try to press it in there. An angle until you push it down a little bit. Don't forget the tabs. Okay, the tabs should should close out. I think this one is in good because. I heard it snap. Okay, so for the other side, it's gonna be this. Similarly, okay, press it at an angle until you can bend that down. I think these two are in. Here's the final confirmation. Before I put the cover back on, I'm just gonna show you guys the tabs. Okay. And put all the screws back in and snap it and shut, and it should be good to go. To ensure that everything has been assembled right and snapped in right, you see everything is pretty much flush. Now we can finally switch on the laptop okay here we go oh i'm actually surprised it asked me memory changer i thought this would be a direct plug and play so let's say looks like you're going to have to find your recovery key i know mine have to enter it looks like it's starting up right now so far, so good. No errors. Okay, for the moment of truth. So this started up, that means it recognized the RAM. Because if you didn't install it properly, it would not even start up. There you see it, 32 gigabyte of RAM, thank goodness. 
And here's the final test. Editing the same video with, see, 32 gigabyte of RAM. Just want to give proof of everything. 4K video once again. We'll just call this one uh, 64 gigabyte. There we go. Once I click on export, here we go. Start watch. I expect at least 30% improvement, similar to a desktop. So this is looking very promising. As you can see, once it reaches 100, it's already less than seven minutes. I expect probably like seven minutes, 40 seconds, something like that. And I do want to mention that I kept all the uh, variables the same. I had all the Google Chrome open, you know, with these browser, but minimized. So I'm going to try to keep everything the same. There you go. That's done. We'll say 7, uh, 17. How about that? And let me go to that video and make sure it's playable. There you see that that's 32 gigabyte. Here's a 64 gigabyte. Yeah. See, fully processed. So now I'm using this time improvement calculator, converting 9 minutes 25 seconds and 7 minutes 17 to seconds. So that's 565 seconds. 437, do a quick calculation. That sees an improvement of 22.7% improvement in productivity and time savings. When upgrading from a 16 gigabyte DDR4 RAM to a 32 gigabyte. So that goes to prove that upgrading RAM definitely saves time and increases productivity, especially if you edit a lot of videos like I do, or even if you game. Adding the extra RAM will help with the bit rate and with the overall gaming experience. And I have I am highly confident with the team group RAM. I think the complete is in Taiwan. The RAM is quality made. And now you know how to install it in a laptop. Whether you are upgrading in a desktop or laptop, having an extra RAM definitely helps.